Look at these. On the menu today, let's find out if the contents of this box can temporarily, just when I need it to, make my iPhone more like the good old days when phones just did calls and texts. Welcome to this digital minimalism edition of Retro Recipes. Welcome. Hello, Chip Dippers. Welcome to Retro Recipes. So here's the problem. With a baby on the way especially, like many people, I'm finding that I really need a digital detox. When I'm out and about or sitting at a meal with my wife, I don't want my phone to keep buzzing with all the notifications of all the apps that I've got installed. And yes, you can go into the settings and change the focus modes to give you that flexibility. But the problem is, I think it's fair to say, a lot of us are basically addicted to our smartphones. So just the fact that the apps are still installed and accessible means we're still likely to reach for them. Maybe check some quick work emails, flip for flip through flipboard and that kind of thing. And before you know it, five minutes have passed and you're divorced. Uh, so I think it's important for us to just get back to more human ways of existing when we're out and about. However, I love the iPhone. The, the tools on here are amazing. No, just, sorry, just interrupted by a text from my grandma. But when it comes to some of those tools, I only really need most of them when I'm at home. You know, if I'm editing a YouTube thumbnail or whatever you might use those tools for, you just don't need them when you're out and about with family in what should be family time. So I'm actually making a much longer video, which is why I've got all of these lovely old devices about digital minimalism and finding out, can I go back to a basic flip phone? Now it won't be this, this is the Cat S22, which is a pretty brand new Android flip phone. Uh, it won't be this because it looks awful and I hate it. <laughs> but what I'm longing for is just those simpler days. I mean, this was probably the most memorable phone I ever had, the Nokia 3210. And yeah, it could play Snake, but other than that, it really just did calls and texts and maybe had a little notes app. But this thing is just gorgeous. And we've lost with all these smartphones that just look like the same bar of soap or whatever as each other. We've lost those beautiful designs. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. This is the Ericsson R380S. Uh, essentially, it's got like 15 little styluses on the inside that tap on the screen when it's closed and register as number presses. Now, I've got to be real. When I had phones like, let's say this Ericsson T28S with its little pop out, flip out cover. Again, isn't that gorgeous? When I had this, I was longing for functions like email and well, things we couldn't even imagine yet, like Instagram. But um, when I finally got them, again, it was super cool and I was at the cutting edge of technology. But it's gone too far now and uh, we've become hostages to our notifications, to our devices and to checking the feed to see what's new on Twitter or Facebook or whatever it is. However, as part of making this bigger video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that, I came across what's inside this box. And just before we unbox it, did you know that PCB Way have a dedicated retro stuffs category where you can get great PCBs for your retro projects from just five bucks? Maybe the product we're about to look at uses one, or maybe it's simply an NFC tag. But you can even find telephone related PCBs at PCBWay.com. Wow, that one is retro. Ah, that's more like it. Because as we all know, PCB stands for please call back, doesn't it? I won't tease you anymore. Let's just open it up and I'll show you. <laughs> Seems like they've left me a little note here. So TJ Driver says, my friend and I made brick because we wanted to fix our relationships with our phones. Essentially stop using them mindlessly so much without having to give up the super helpful tools that we use every day. E.g. Uber, camera. It's exactly what I was saying. You read my mind. We've also come to love the aspect of nostalgia this gives us as we're just old enough to remember a time when all cell phones did was call and text. Didn't I just say all this? That's incredible. We hope you enjoy Brick and get some use out of it. Either way, we're excited to follow your content because who doesn't love retro tech? I couldn't agree more. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> so here it is. This is how it sells itself. We realized that while our phones were our greatest tool, that was my nickname in high school, they were also our biggest distraction. We couldn't stand that there wasn't a good way to keep the tools with us, but ditch the distractions when we wanted. So we made brick 
where to put your brick. Decide on that later when we see how it works. What to do while bricked. Go outside. Now let's see if this helps us touch grass. Ooh, look at these. Well, put some tree paper with it. And they're actually quite weighty. Uh, they do say these first versions are 3D printed, which you can tell. That's really nice. It is like a brick. So we are essentially going to brick our phones. And it is magnetic, so perfect for the fridge. Let's see how it works. So I have already downloaded the Brick app. It's currently in test flight beta, but it should be available to the public this month, if not already available by the time you see this video. So we'll just launch Britney Spit. Oh, sorry, just got distracted. Brick. Activate your brick. Tap the button below and then tap the top of your phone to your brick to activate. There it goes. You're all set up and ready to start using brick. So let's see how this works. Interesting. So it's using screen time, which is a built in way on the iPhone to limit the time you spend on apps. And I think it may be manually uh, disallowing certain apps using that. So we'll allow it access. Done. And it saw your face and <laughs> activated it. So here we can customize apps. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So you can enable whole categories of apps. I'm just going to go in manually and go through mine. I do want to enable Kit because that is the app that lets me turn my Tesla into Kit Tesla, as you've hopefully seen. If not, check out my Kit Tesla playlist. Hello, it's also very important that I activate Patreon because I'm always uh, out and about taking photos on the Patreon lens to share with supporters there is one of the perks. And I, I don't really post to Instagram stories or that kind of thing. Everything just goes on Patreon or nowhere. Spotify, because if I'm walking the dog, I want some music. And I'm really, I just don't even want YouTube. I love YouTube as a job, but sometimes you just need to totally switch off. Camera, of course, for taking videos of baby. Five hours later. So I've now gone through and I've customized all the apps, only the ones that I need or want to use. I've chosen those really carefully. So they're only things that actually are useful when I'm out and about and that I might, might want to talk about with Lady Fractic over dinner, that kind of thing. Even now looking at these, there seems to be a lot, but a lot of them are doubled up. Uh, some of the categories have overlap and a lot of them are store loyalty card schemes. So if I'm going into a restaurant or uh, going into a hardware store, I want to be able to call up those apps like the IKEA app and all of that. So. All that remains now is to try it out. Do you want to, uh, do you want to, uh, do you want to, uh, I haven't said it yet. Come here, put your leash on. Hold on, just gotta break my phone. Let me just check Instagram, you wait there. Oh, cool. All right. Come on then, let's go. Go for a walk. I can't believe he left us. We're the whole reason he's doing all of this. Well, I'm out to lunch now, it's later in the day and I've remembered Lady Fractic this time. But uh, usually I would have that habit of reaching for work apps, check my work emails, check the Slack Zap Towers app to see if there's any rumblings going on in Zap64. But literally the apps are not there anymore. They're completely disabled. So I find that temptation is just dissolved away. And unlike with the focus modes that are built into the iPhone, the key to unlock those apps is literally back home on the fridge. So that's cool, the fridge, I mean. Uh, and when I get home, of course, I can just tap on the brick again and it will unlock them all immediately. I've actually set up a nice little retro home screen here uh, just to help things feel a bit more simple and like the good old days that the brick is also enabling. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. They've, they've done a really good job and it solves a genuine problem and will allow us to get back to what matters in life. The important thing, the big F, food. Family. Fa family. Check out the link in the description if you want to get your brick or go to getbrick.app 
Speaking of getting back to what's important in life, I think it's time for Lady Fractic to turn off the camera phone. And we'll just say thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe and support below and... Cheerio! Cheerio. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you.